back again with our another topic uh, for the video tutorial that is genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is uh, a name that is comprising of uh, means a combination of the genetic makeup. Here we are trying to use the technology, the engineering process in the modification of the genome structure. That is we want to have a wide variety of species that can have a combination of genes of some other species. So here what we are going to basically focus on engineering that is the technological process that we are going to introduce in the field of molecular biology to have the desired traits in the organisms that is genes of one organisms will be transferred to genes of another organism thus giving us a recombinant uh, DNA molecule and then introducing it into a host. So this name of genetic engineering is probably known means we know this name by various other names also. Let me write those names also genetic engineering as I have said introduction of technology into the field of molecular biology and genetics so that we can have a wide variety of species. Next other names could be genetic manipulation that is modification of the gene structure because we know that the genes like we know that's basically it's all about ATGC AT and GC here there will be two hydrogen bonds here there are three hydrogen bonds so basic structure remains same we can have organisms which are having different genetic sequences if I am taking a bacteria or a virus a sheep a goat they may have obviously they have the different genetic sequences this is true but genetic code is very universal so let's uh, focus on this topic genetic engineering genetic manipulation modification of genes you can say modification and other names also like very related that is splicing recombinant what we already know this that the genetic code is very universal taking bacteria sheep goat humans the genetic code is universal let's now find out what is genetic engineering relies on like it is depending on basically enzymes and these enzymes let me rub this so that I can write the next part for you that is it is uh, depending on enzymes activity and here the enzymes have a role dual role as I said that genetic engineering genetic engineering is depending on the activity of the enzymes and the enzymes have dual role what is the role one is cleavage which is going to be performed by restriction endonuclease and ligate that is joining so here it is ligase so primary role of genetic engineering will be served by enzymes cut copy and paste that's how I explain like biotechnology DNA recombinant technology is basically just like computers cut copy paste you cut for that cutting purpose that is restri uh, restriction endonuclease enzymes and ligase for joining and then introduced into the host so recombinant DNA technology is going to be used over here we already have the knowledge about restriction endonuclease point that three different enzymes or two different enzymes how these are going to act let's take uh, like when a particular uh, thing means a particular DNA molecule has to be cut we use a restriction endonuclease for it for cutting purpose for cleavage say for instance this is a gene which is located over here and we know that this has to be cut at this point so cutting this work will be done by restriction endonuclease we already know this fact that restriction endonuclease is going to cleave when it is cleaving it is cleaving at a particular point that is the target and before it cleaves it must recognize 
a restriction signal that is a restriction endonuclease will be receiving a particular restriction signal sequence that is RSS restriction signal sequence only when it is receiving a restriction signal sequence it will cleave that is it will cut now enzyme A I take one enzyme A and another enzyme B now when I am cutting this with enzyme A say for instance this restriction endonuclease is cut cutting means the signal is GATC again a C over here again a G over here this is BAM H1 actually uh, the signal sequence anyway uh, I am just giving it an example say for instance this en enzyme A is able to recognize this signal now this signal if it if enzyme B is not having this particular re restriction signal sequence then definitely the signal sequence will be different so cutting time if I am not having the same signal sequence I have to combine this DNA molecule into another say a, a, a plasmid I am taking another plasmid I am taking another color so that you can understand properly what I am trying to say this is a plasmid and here I am going to cut so this cut portion and this cut portion this is in here enzyme B is acting and here enzyme A is acting now if both of them are not having the same restriction signal sequence definitely there will be a problem in compatibility so the same restriction endonuclease has to cleave where the combination that is recombinant has to be produced so cleavage time it has to be kept in mind that the same restriction endonuclease is used most of the time when it is cleaving that is when it cleaves it recognizes a signal suppose the signal is uh, T A G C A T now whenever it is recognizing it is cleaving okay I am now using the same restriction endonuclease so there is no problem as far as compatibility is concerned so it's going to recognize this signal and then it is cleaving when it is cleaving its point of cleavage is creating uneven ends and due to these uneven ends we have the sticky ends and only one DNA segment will be exposed so due to the uneven ends we have the sticky ends and these sticky ends are cohesive ends so that it can ligate so that we can apply the rule of complementary base pairing the board because I now I want to show you how exactly we process this technology the less let us first chalk out the points the first point we have to remember in this case is restriction enzyme is going to cleave recognizing first it will recognize the restriction signal sequence and then it will cleave whenever it is cleaving it is first recognizing and for the purpose of compatibility we use the same restriction enzyme to cleave both the organisms here we are talking about this uh, means the point of discussion is not one organism say a hydra and a cat now I want to have a new variety of cat that will have some traits some properties of hydra so I want to use genetic engineering this is a basic example what, what has come in my head I'm just saying now I want to prepare it so I will collect the DNA molecule the gene from a hydra and I will uh, take the DNA or the uh, gene taken from one organism organism A is our hydra and another genetics sequence I will ge genetic code is universal so the sequence is only the varying purpose here I will take a DNA from here organism B in this case a hydra and in this case a cat and if I am taking most of the DNA molecule from the cat then definitely it will be uh, the organisms will have more the uh, traits of the cat 
and less the traits of hydra but it will have this is my basic idea so when i will be cleaving i must use the same restriction endonucleus to cleave because it will have the same restriction signal if the same restriction signal sequence is red that is there not there is if same thing is not used then there will be a different compatibility problem in compatibility so the same restriction signal sequence using the same restriction signal sequence of the same restriction enzyme we will have a compatible portion to be cut and cut from these two ends we will combine it and produce a recombinant and here when we are having the recombinant it must be completely a compatible one now after preparing this recombinant we have to introduce this so here comes the protocol of genetic engineering protocol of genetic engineering is depending mainly on the restriction enzyme endonuclease using the same restriction endonuclease we have got a, we have prepared the recombinant and now it has to be introduced into the dna molecule it just cannot be introduced like that we need to ligate it so what we have to use in the first point we have said talked about restriction signal sequence in the second point we have talked about the same uh, using the same restriction enzyme we have got a perfect combination because we are having the same signal sequence with no problem in compatibility same sticky ends if we have the same sticky ends that is the co co uh, cohesive site if, if it is the same then it's compatible and we prepare a recombinant let me draw this for you so that you can well understand this point i have shown you when we are preparing a recombinant we have to take one dna one from the organism a one from the organism b so one has to if one is more that means that will have more traits into this uh, progeny that is our desired trait will be more and if it is having less then less so let's focus on this point preparing the I am using a different color to show you the difference that's all my motive is to show you what difference it will create see here I have prepared a recombinant this is a recombinant this is organism A DNA molecule this is organism B DNA molecule and I have prepared the recombinant the cut end is attached for attachment purpose what we need to use here comes the point of another protocol that we need to remember in genetic engineering that is the fourth point is about ligase if it is not ligating how will it act so ligate ligase will act here to seal the ends so that the sugar phosphate backbone is a difficult DNA molecule to be attached so this sugar phosphate backbone we know that DNA has a sugar phosphate backbone has to be sealed now we, our recombinant is ready to be used in, introduced into the host but this is not so easy process the process looks very simple but it is not mm -hmm.